Kevin, thank you for all the work you put in uh, being the international distributor. I got the lens yesterday, um, and I'm like so excited to open it up. Here we go. Awesome. Oh my god. Two four two five hundred. Zeiss lens wipes and microfiber cloth. Nice touch there. And then bag with the lens. Wow. This aluminum case is nice. There it says Light Lens Lab with the optical diagram of the 35mm uh, Summicron uh, version 1 A element. And then I say that in Chinese. Uh, this is screen printed uh, on it. And man, has a little lip on the edge. Wow. It's a, it's anodized. Uh, so it has a, a satin finish to it. Super nice. Whoa, <laughs> that is kick ass. Wow. There's the cap with thing. Uh. Oh, screen printing of the optical diagram and the lens itself is like gorgeous satin chrome. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> it looks okay. I haven't even touched it, but wow. Okay. Oh, nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a little M mount in the bottom of the case. Wow. There's a little dot so you can line it up perfectly. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Man, this thing is gorgeous. Wow. It has a little Ruby Cabochon for the red dot there. Synthetic Ruby. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. 
Okay. Take the cap off. Yeah. This is this is as nice or better than the original caps that you get on old uh, screw mallons and things like that. Wow. Okay, the lip is better finished. Yeah. <laughs> Even that. Wow. It has a black set and velvet lining. Yeah, the velvet lining on on the inside. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, holy crap, this is so good. Wow. So for the custom engraving, I thought Replica M would be really cool. Like, it would be its own new series of lenses. Um, and the serial number is... 242. It's a nice symmetrical one. Man, that is so awesome. Oh my god, holy cow. Okay. <laughs> Light Lens Lab. China in red. Man, this is incredible. The machining, the finishing. Let me try the apertures. Oh. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. It is so smooth. It has the perfect amount of, like, resistance and firm precise detents. I mean, it sounds nice and it feels so... Oh, it is... Okay, when you get to the two, it like, it doesn't have that usual little bump at the end, it just stops perfectly at the two. Uh, yeah. That is same thing with the 16. Oh man, this thing is precise. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's like, when you get to an aperture, there's like no wiggle unless you put enough pressure to get off the detent. Oh man, it is, can you hear that? That is perfection. Wow. Oh, man. Uh, so you can see how the aperture, uh, it's like the spacing is not linear. They did that supp supposedly to like help make the aperture, like to help then make the aperture rounder. Whoa. Yeah. Just looking at the aperture, you can see that it is pretty darn round all the way through. It doesn't have like the, the little sawtooth edges that you, uh, that you have on the 35 millimeter Sumacron S. I used to have one of those, but I solved it a long time ago. Oh man, wow. This is a heavy, dense lens. Like, I mean, in absolute terms, it's not like ridiculously heavy or whatever, but it is dense and like very satisfying. Wow. Okay. Let's do the focusing ring now. Okay, it has an infinity stop right there. See if on the, on the back side. Press this little button. 
Listen to that precision. Everything about this lens. Oh man. Okay. Let's. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you hear the click? Ooh, I click at the, at the close end. And then it clicks into place. Ah. Oh my god. It is so precise. What other word can I use? It is precise. Oh man. It is so smooth. It is. Oh man. Oh man. Holy cow. That's like butter. Buttery smooth. Wow. Oh. Oh man. Okay. I, I, I gotta check something when I put it on the, the camera. Man. Engravings are gorgeous. Like even the typeface they picked, it's not 100% uh, the same as the original lens, but it looks really good. Like, I, I even like the typeface. Hope you can see just what it, the typeface looks like. And even here on the, on the Chinese engraving on the side. It's like super crisp. Wow. Wow. The paint infill is perfect too. Man. Wow. <laughs> the fin the fit and finishing, the build quality, it doesn't get any better than this. It literally does not get better than this. And the and the and this uh, the brass helical there. Smooth. Smooth. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put on the lens. Uh, put the lens on the camera now. Uh, okay. Uh, I got a 50 millimeter Voigtlander color scope bar on it, which has a similar design. Uh, this was modeled after the 8 element Summicron. Check it out how similar they are. Like, this is a little thicker, but the basic design is, you know, the same. So, th these old style lenses are just really beautiful. And, uh, uh, that's why I just had to get this one. So, let's take this off and mount the lens on my camera for the first time. Oh, precise click. Oh man, okay. Oh man. Oh man. Wow. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh my oh, god, it is so nice. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. When, when your finger is like bent at a nine degree, uh, you're focused a little bit closer. Well, I'm focused a little bit closer than five feet. Five meters. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Five feet. Yeah. Oh man. Yep. So when I focus with my finger at a 90 degree angle, I'm a little closer than five feet. So that's good for like three quarters, uh, you know, person portrait distance.
Yeah. That's good ergonomic thinking right there. Uh, I'm not sure if this is totally, this this focusing scale is exactly the same. I don't know, but, but maybe on the original, the eight element, the, maybe that focused exactly at, you know, the same, the same way as this foot lens, but yeah. Oh uh, man, okay, let's see. Uh, with the lens, at the six o'clock position is pointing straight down. Uh, the focus is at six feet. Check that out. Uh, and at the, let's see, okay at the at the closest that you can do, you know, just holding it like this, uh, that gets you down to three feet four inches or one meter. Um, yeah. So if you want to go all the way in, you have to, you know, change your grip a little bit or bring it up with your fingertip. Uh, yeah, that's, pr that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 there's no viewfinder blockage at all. No viewfinder blockage. Just a teeny little fit on the corner. Oh, awesome. <laughs> no viewfinder blockage. I always like that. Oh man. Oh, I can't see the aperture setting through the viewfinder though. Oh, that's the one thing that longer lenses let you do. You, you can look through your viewfinder and see what aperture you set just through the lens. So, oh well, you gotta trade off the compactness and no viewfinder blockage versus being able to see the aperture in the viewfinder. Oh my god, it is so awesome. Holy cow. Wow. Oh man. Oh man, it is so smooth. It is so smooth. Yeah. Wow. I cannot believe, holy cow. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like hyped up on an, on, on adrenaline right now. Holy cow. Whoa. Okay. Well, this is the best build quality you will ever find on any Leica lens. It doesn't get better than this. And for the introductory price that, uh, you know, the, the people who got the V1 LC, uh, are getting, it was like $500 plus shipping. That is insane. That's insane. <laughs> wow. You cannot get a better deal on this for a 35 millimeter lens. Like nowhere. Nobody, nobody even comes close to this. No, nothing, nothing even close to this. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, holy cow. This is incredible. Man. So, there you have it. The Light Lens Lab. A uh, replica of the first version, 35 millimeter Summicron, the the eight element. Wow. This is like this is like a historic turning point as far as products made in China go. I think this well, photographic equipment made in China. This is absolutely spectacular build quality there's there's like nothing to complain about there's like no flaws on this thing yeah you you know you you know that part in back to the future where marty's uh has that line all the best stuff is made in, what are you talking about, Doc? All the best stuff is made in Japan. 
uh, because like before it, uh, before that time, uh, J- Japanese products were, you know, looked down upon for having poor build quality and stuff like that. But that but then later, the, the manufacturing uh, got like way way better and stuff. Yeah, like as far as camera stuff is concerned yeah this is going to be historically significant for like changing people's uh perspective their sort of basic attitude to things made in china this is like a game changer wow (laughs) i can't believe wow i cannot believe that this thing exists As far as the the trend for reintroducing uh, historical lens pointers goes, like there's the Leica Classic range with the 28 millimeter Sumeron and the 90 millimeter Thambar, and then almost come out with the Pestball lenses. Uh, like this is probably. This is probably the the one that's going to be most popular. I think a thirty-five millimeter lens for a rangefinder. Um, people have already taken uh, a lot of photos with it and posted photos. I'll I'll link all that in the description. But so far, it looks like the image quality is just as good as the original. But the the curvature field is a little bit stronger, or something like that. Um, uh, and it, and the lens is, is apparently a touch cooler in the in the color cast in the color palette. Um, I'm just gonna guess that's because they might have different kind of flint glass in this lens. Or maybe the lenses are, you know, the original lenses, those might be aging and becoming yellower over time. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it's a slight difference there. But aside from that, this lens should be really, really nice to use. Uh, it has more vignetting than later lenses. And oh, another th- good thing is that there's like no distortion. Uh, like the Sumicron Asp had pincushion and, you know, for that m- amount of money, I just, I just didn't want to bother keeping that. So, oh man, so excited I got this lens. <laughs> oh man, okay. That's it for this video. What else am I going to say? This, this lens is amazing. Uh... If you have a chance, get one of the later production uh, runs, and uh, yeah, highly recommended. Highly recommend. Just whatever that that the later production runs end up costing, it's it's, it's gonna be worth it. So yeah, Light Lens Lab replica of the Eight Element Sumicron. Buy this lens, if you can. All right. Um, Thanks for watching. Have a good week.